How do I start this video? Purple, yellow, and red. What's up guys, it's Henry and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an embroider with me video and while I'm embroidering I'm going to share some experience about TikTok. How I grew my fan base over there, what are my experience with going viral and eventually how I got verified on TikTok. Let me grab my embroidery kit and let's start right away with the video. Alright guys, today I'm going to embroider a turtle emoji to my emoji pens. If you are following me on TikTok, you might know this emoji pens. It's a interactive project with my TikTok community. So what this means is that I let my TikTok community decide what to put next on the emoji pens. And this time they chose to put the turtle emoji. What I do is first I'm gonna outline the turtle and yeah, talk a bit about TikTok. Before I start talking about TikTok, I wanted to make sure that these are experiences I made about how I got into TikTok, how I grow followers or group followers on TikTok and how eventually I got verified. So these are more like tips for you guys to turn them into your own than like conditions on how to get TikTok fame or rules on how to get TikTok fame. First of all, I wanted to talk about how I got into TikTok. I think I first downloaded the app in November 2019. At first I was like, this is not nothing for me. I always had like the musically app in my mind. So it's only lip syncing videos and stuff like that. But it's actually, it turned out so much different than I expected. And I was completely blown away. I felt like, okay, I like this app, but I've never thought of sharing actually content. If you might know, I also do music. And I thought like, maybe I can share my music content on TikTok. But unfortunately, it turned out that this was not it. During quarantine, I was like super bored. I saw so many YouTube videos about like people upcycling their clothes and turn them into art pieces. So I was like very inspired by that. My first DIY crafting embroidery video I was sharing to TikTok was I had like a simple plain shirt and I was putting on patches by sewing them on the back. And then I started embroidering. I think that art is called one line art um, onto the back on top of the patches. This kind of TikTok was the first one that inspired me to, to more of these kind of videos. Okay, so that was my story actually how I got into TikTok. But to grow a fan base, I think one of the most important thing is to find a niche. I figured out that if I do like crafts or like especially embroidery, which is more like a thing or used to be like a thing, only grandmas yeah. are doing embroidery and it's very lame and it's boring and it doesn't look good and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, maybe we, we can turn this embroidery thing into something more trendy which can be used as a very good tool to upcycle or to show your art and since there hasn't been so many like so many videos about it and especially guys doing it that also explains that most of my followers are female if you want to grow a fan base or like if you want to grow more your tiktok you definitely have to check what is your niche what can you do best and which kind of content you can share which is on one hand side kind of funny or wholesome or very talented or which actually describes you and your personality i was scared at first as well because i was also sharing embroidery stuff like flower embroidery which is absolutely something i could never imagine doing if it wasn't for tiktok so i was like um, embroidering a shirt for my grandma with lots of flowers and i really enjoyed the process this kind of video blew up so fast i gained so many followers through that video because people never saw something this before on this app i guess and followed me. Another thing is to engage with your follower and I figured out that if I share like videos where my followers can like do something, interact with me, these videos perform better than like other videos I share on TikTok. 
so I decided to let my followers be a part of my videos so I started this TikTok series with actually the lollipop and then asking like my followers what I should do next I think that the next one was the baby Yoda what else you can do to engage with your followers is to go live I think when you have 1000 followers on TikTok you can go live and talk to your followers and what I figured out is like if you do your stuff like what's your TikTok content is about like if it's like about embroidery and you embroider during your life or crocheting I also crochet sometimes I think it's more interesting for people to watch than just sitting there and starting your live stream and do actually nothing next to answering questions as a third point how to engage with your followers followers is to comment back on their comments. If they have like a question, I always try to comment back by answering them in the video. You can now reply in a video on TikTok as well or like answering them in the comments. TikTok is just a social media app and if you're not being social on that app, it's not working that well for you. So I always try to comment back and be social. I'm finally done with the outline of the patch so what I'm doing now is I'm removing the paper and this is very easy actually. You only need like water and sprinkle some water on the paper and then work it into the paper of course and then you can easily remove it. Okay guys, I've removed all the paper, so this is how it looks right now, so I have to fill it out with colors now. I definitely have to work on my posture, because I figure out when I sit long, especially during embroidering and stuff, or doing crafts, I always fall into these kind of positions, which are like absolutely bad for your back. So the next point on my list is going viral on TikTok. So basically what you need to know is everybody can go viral on TikTok as long as it has something in the video that makes people talk about. For example, if your video is very funny or very wholesome or like completely crazy or very very talented, people will talk about it and share it with their friends. These are like the aspects of going viral because um, if people are talking about your video, it gets shared through the algorithm a lot. Another point is about performance. You should check if you are using trending music. For example, what I do is I always check on my For You page which music, which sound is like trending at the moment and use this kind of sound under my videos. Another one is hashtags. I figured out for myself if I'm using the same hashtags which describes my niche very very good. I create kind of my own hashtag with it. For example, hashtag embroidery and when you click on hashtag embroidery you find lots of videos of mine where I embroider. This is kind of useful because it actually describes the process of what I'm doing and all my videos are listed under this hashtag and if I would use all the time new hashtags my videos would be placed all over. You should name this turtle at the end. I was thinking of maybe I think it's a he, a heathen. What do you guys think of Theodore? I think I'm going to call him Theodore. I like this name. You probably wonder how I got very good on TikTok. As you might know, I'm doing music and since I'm doing music for a long time, I also got a management in music. They also know about my TikTok. And I once told them, oh yeah, my TikTok is growing like big now but it's not music actually it's because of my craft but then by the day i've reached like 250k followers and they said like okay uh, maybe we should reach out now that's like the perfect time they reached out and presented my profile and oh my god my camera is dying hey guys i'm back my camera is now charged again. Theodore is almost done. But yeah, I wanted to continue on my verified story. So uh, my management reached out to TikTok and they presented my profile and they really liked what I'm doing. Then they said something like that. Yeah, we can verify you soon. Then we didn't hear back from them. I thought like, okay, maybe now they know my TikTok account. Maybe they do it once I reached a certain amount of followers or something like that. 
but then actually like after two weeks or something like that I got verified which was so cool so that's actually my story behind all the TikTok chat we had I'm done looks so cute okay guys that's actually it I really hope you liked this video and found some tips inspiration if you like this video then please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos I'm gonna share some more DIY videos craft videos embroidery with me videos soon also make sure to check me out on my social media I will link them in here. Yeah, also check me out on TikTok for more craft videos and DIY videos. And I can't wait to be back with a new video soon on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. And I see you guys soon. Bye.